This is a lot. I like to have lines here. Like, no one has to know what's going on around here. Are they slopping pajamas? I guess. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. If this is your first time on my channel, you're very well welcome. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is a pretty little thing haul. And we also got some misguided as well. So it's a pretty little thing versus misguided haul. I'm not 100% you know, in with like the quality of the it's a little thing clothing. I think I've ordered from them once. They do have a whole lot of cute stuff. So I'm really hoping that this haul kind of like changes my mind and makes, you know, makes them a key point to the one I mean. So give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe, make sure you tap on the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And with that being said, let's just jump into the video. The very first thing I have is a plain shirt from Misguided. I feel like I only have one plain shirt, which is not good. So it's pretty much just a really basic shirt, but I feel like it will come in handy for work for, for days when I don't actually feel like dressing up. As I'm gonna say, like the quality of the shirt is top notch. It's like really, really nice. It's a really, really nice material. I love everything about it. It's just simple and nice and workish. If I wanted to do as well, I can make it like really super casual. It's actually a shirt dress. I'm pretty tall, so I don't think I would be wearing this as a dress. But I feel like this would look really good with some long boots as well. I could totally, totally wear some boots. For a pretty little thing, I got this leather skirt. And you can see it's all studded and nicely buttoned. With the material, uh, it doesn't feel so great. It's not the greatest material, to be honest. And I actually do not own any leather skirts. I'm not really a skirt person. I'm more of like a pants kind of girl. But I'm trying to like switch it up a little bit. It's a really cheap zipper, so I'm just trying my best to be careful. I'm not sure if the total leg is supposed to be this big. This is huge for a total neck. Uh, I don't even know what. Uh, what do you guys think? I really like the sleeves of the sweater. I did get a size 12. I got all my clothing in size 12 or medium. I feel like I could have gone a size smaller on this one. It did say it was a petite jumper, so I was. I kind of figured it would be kind of small, you know? But uh, this is. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, so this is exactly how I found the outfit. I thought I'd be able to wear the skirt and the jumper with some boots. But I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the jumper. I think I'll probably switch up to something different. Uh, again, this skirt could use some work. The material is just all over the place. I have threads everywhere, like underneath, on the belt. It just takes a few seconds to cut off the thread. That's the least they can actually do. I guess that's what happens with mass manufacturing, I guess. Well, yeah, it's, it, it's thread everywhere. Okay, yeah, so next I've got these pants from Misguided. I'm not exactly sure why I got these pants. I kind of missed out on the whole sport or tracksuit trend. And I'm trying to catch up. I think it's long gone, but <laughs> yeah, I actually liked it online. And it actually isn't so bad. It actually does feel good. I'm not exactly sure where I'm wearing this suit. That's my only problem. It's like the original white was kind of like on the outside and on the inside. But I love how flared the leg is. I really love my flared trousers. I don't have a bodysuit with this order, but I do have a white shirt. Uh, this is a petite boyfriend shirt from Misguided as well. I'm not sure what size I got it in. So I got this in a 14, which is way too large. Tucked in. This doesn't look so bad. I'm not exactly sure if I would ever wear this together. I'll probably wear like a simple bodysuit and some sandals. And can I just take a moment and appreciate the asset? Because it's looking good. It is looking good. Very little thing. I got a set. And this is in like a beige color, I think. A beige or stone. And it does have a good grip at the bottom. So that I'm really liking so far. I guess. I don't think I can wear this out to be honest. I think I'm gonna freeze my ass out. Maybe if I wear some tights underneath, I can wear the pants. But I'm not sure how someone could make a set of joggers and not put some lining underneath. Okay, so I just checked and this is actually a lounge set, so uh, maybe that's kind of like capable. That kind of explains the material. But 
I think it'd be deceit too. And I feel like it'd be nice for like a girl who has you know, nice thigh gaps. I don't feel like you have big thighs. I don't think this is the most flattering set. It looks more of it looks more like a slutty pajamas than like something you can actually wear out. Well, I could definitely wear this out with a jacket to the movies and just be nice and comfy. I feel like it looks better on the model than it does look on me, but I'm keeping it. Oh lord, these are tight. I don't like to have lines here. Like no one has to know what's going on around here. I'm trying to drag this up a little. Okay, I feel like once it's like really high enough. Uh, it's a lot smoother and it looks a little better. But I don't think I'll ever wear my pants this high. I'm all for the whole high waisted situation, but pants this high. <sighs> like, we're not gonna food baby and I can barely breathe. Like, this is uncomfortable. So this one is really really cute and this was from Miss Guided. It's just nice and simple and comfy. This makes you want to relax and sleep. And it looks good and it's nice and long enough. I love all my sweaters are long enough to cover my bum. Perfect. Okay. I kind of do feel like the total neck is a little too much. And I could have definitely done a size smaller. This is a size 12, but usually I'm a size 12. But I feel like for sweaters, I'm gonna go in a size down and get in a size 10 instead. But uh, a uh, big sweater, big life, I guess. I'm not sure if that's the same. But. Okay, and still on the sweaters, I got another one from this guy. That, and I really love the sleeves. I love, I think I'm really into like huge, big, you know, wingy sleeves. And I love the color. I'm like so into the brown. It's, it's really nice and it's really flattering. I like this one that's really nice and easy and I can easily wear this to work in the morning and still feel like, you know, I kind of like took the time to dress up when I actually did them, you know? So, yeah, this is what it looks like in the back. And still I'm misguided, I got this coat. It's just a simple beige coat. There is nothing too crazy about it. I, I just fell in love with it when I saw it online and I knew I just kind of had it. And I don't have a coat in this color, so they're gonna be really nice. It does need to be straightened, but the material is nice and it's warmer than I expected. You're asking the guy for colors? I don't know. You must be lost. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> I'm pretty much swimming in it, but um, I think this helps the whole city. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more cute. A little bit more cute. I love the color. The back is pretty simple nothing special and the pockets are large and deep. This might fit a lot, I actually fit a phone, my charger, my headphones very comfortably. Love the buttons, I love the colors. I really care much for the cold when it's all buttoned up. I feel like I'm just gonna wear it without the buttons. I feel like it'd be nice with a great scarf, you know, and some layers underneath. I really really can't wait to style this outfit. I feel like it'd be really really nice. You guys let me know if you'd like to see a lookbook. Um, I don't film as much lookbooks because I like to film outside, but if you guys do request a lookbook or if you want a fall lookbook, I'll be more than happy to face my fears and shoot one for you guys. So let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a fall lookbook or not. From everything I got from Pretty Little Thing, this has the most quality. It's, it's a nice sweater. It's nice. It's warm. I do love the details. You do have different knitting patterns. You have some going horizontally you have some vertical ones it's just really nice and there are pockets we all need pockets a little bit bigger than I expected but I do love my oversized sweater so I'm not even gonna complain I love the length of the sleeves as well it's really long it's pretty much pretty much covers my fingers okay I'm gonna need a moment to put in the shirt I feel like I'm having such a hard time Hey, oh, this shirt is from Pretty Little Thing. I do feel like a grandma in this shirt. It's substantially larger than I expected it to be. It's actually a size 12. Maybe I'm actually a size 10. And I keep getting these things in size 12. But whenever I drop down the size and get a 10, it never fits. So when I get a 12, it's too large in some cases. I thought it would make a good one. I feel like once it's all like popped in, 
it does look a lot better. Okay, so lastly for misguided, I have this snake print jumpsuit, and I was really excited to get this. Because I feel like I've seen snake print everywhere, like everywhere. Especially on Instagram. So I decided to snag me something a little something. Okay, yeah, so far so good. This jumper or jumpsuit is yo, I love it. I do love the fact that it has pockets in it. I know, again, with the pockets. I love the belt. I love that you can kind of like, you know, get your waist nice and cut together. And I, I'm not really a fan of the length. I wish it went all the way down. I do love the fact that the boobs are kind of like out, but not like in a crazy way. Like as long as you have like a nice decent bra, you should kind of be fine. And you can, can you can also kind of tweak it to your own liking. You can cover it up a little bit more or you can go all out depending on what you like. Actually, it does have a little wrap here that kind of covers your boobs if you're not really wanting to let it all show, which is actually nice. I do have some heels, it looks totally amazing i still honestly wish it was just a tiny little bit longer but i'm just gonna have to work with it i say i got this set from pretty little thing this kind of reminds me of fall and pumpkins and halloween i must say the material on this one is nice i don't see any threads hanging around and the buttons are actually a lot easier to button so i really like this set Okay guys, so this looks amazing tucked in and with a nice pair of pumps, it just it just takes it to a whole different level. Just excuse this thing, I'm gonna have to cut it off. I love the feel of the material, it's nice and silky. I love the length, it is not too long, it is not too short, it's exactly where I need it to be. I'm glad that I ended up finding a few things that I actually loved from the pre little thing, uh, from the pre little thing website. Uh, the quality was on and off, but I did get a couple of things that I think are actually or are actually worth my coin. So that I'm pretty excited and okay about. To the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it wasn't too long, and if it was, I hope it was fun all the same. Uh, let me know what you think about the outfits. Let me know if it's your favorite. I'm gonna leave the links to all the outfits in the description box. So. Make sure to check them on there if you did find something that you like and uh, let me know if you'd like to see another haul or if you like to see lookbooks instead. Um, I don't do as much hauls because I find them exhausting to film <laughs> but um, I do hope you enjoy them all the same and um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!